Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to talk about a very crucial logarithmic topic. And before we talk about another thing, let me ask you what is a change of base formula? And here is the change of base formula that uh, we are interested in. How we came up with this formula? Can we prove it? So now I'm going to show you a proof. So let's get started with the proof for this formula. So just look at one thing. I want you to see the left hand side is this part, isn't it? And the right hand side is this blah, blah, blah whatever this thing is. So the way I'm going to show you the proof, I'm going to start out with the left hand side and I will do all the steps and we will end up exactly same as the right hand side. So I'm going to start off with the left hand side. LHS stands for left hand side and left hand side in our case is log of x with the base b, isn't it? I want to let us say that this is equal to some variable y, okay? So this is some variable y. So this is, I want to call this equation number one. Now, whatever you will put down this thing, I want you to go ahead and convert into the exponential form. And we will use this fact if you want to convert from logarithmic equation to an exponential one. So this equation number one could be written as x equal to b power y. Now the next thing what I want you to do is I want you to take the log on both sides of this equation. So I'm going to take a log on both sides. I'm going to take a log of x and I'm going to put down over here. This is what I'm going to do. Okay. Just bear with me and I'm going to put down log on this side as well. And the log this time I'm going to put a base a. Okay. The rest is going to be same. I'm going to put down log of x equal to log of b power y. So I didn't do anything other than just put a log on both sides. So this is what we got. Now next we will be using this fact. If you have a log of x and you have an exponent m, then you can move this exponent to the front. Likewise, I'm going to do this thing. This is our exponent over here. I can move it to the front. So I can write as log of x with a base a equal to this become y times log of b with a base a. So far so good. Now I want to isolate y. If you want to isolate y, I can divide both sides by this quantity. I'm going to divide by this quantity. So I'm going to put down log of b with the base a and I'm going to divide on this side as well log of b with the base a. So far so good. Now the next thing what I want you to do is go ahead. This cancels out with this one. So we simply ended up with log of x with the base a over log of b with the base a equals to y. I want you to call this equation number 2. Now the next thing what I want you to do is I want you to compare equation one as you can go back and see this is equation number one and this is equation number two and compare them. 
Now finally I want you to compare those two equations. Equation 1 and 2, I just put it up over here exactly same way. If you compare them, you see the right hand side y, you see if the y are same on the right hand side that means this and this will be equal, isn't it? Thus the both the left hand side are same and that is our proof. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.